Is it on? Oh, it's working. Well, <laughs> well, hello there. Check this out, huh? So what I did was I picked up a tripod. Tripod. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> it was rather exciting, to be honest with you. So not only do I have a selfie stick, I also have a tripod and I'm able to sort of like set things up a little uh, better in terms of camera shots. So maybe uh, I'll have some more interesting camera shots. And one of the things that, I'm just gonna move this here. One of the things that many of you probably noticed is I a lot of my videos have been sort of like just in my van and that's because a lot of my videos I've been doing uh, usually when I can get to them and a few of them I've done some sort of some van build tours kind of thing where because I actually don't have build videos where I'm like making stuff and everything right making stuff and everything <laughs> um, you know it's, I, I never made any of those so what I did do was sort of give you an idea of what the thing looks like as a finished piece for example I created a van build uh, video tour of the the tailgate you know at the back there where you know where I you know pop you know lift up the 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 table and it creates a table for me and I also did some for my storage and everything and um, but I and also just overall a, a video tour of the entire the entire van we you know without all this stuff in it so at the back there you see that red sort of plaid thing that's the silver duct remember those guys the silver duct and that's covered up and I've been able to sort of redirect the heat because it is a duct so I could sort of like turn it wherever I want to but uh, for now um, what I did do is on my right here is um, uh, this here uh, pillows I have pillows I have a very comfortable seat here and it's actually the pantry on its side and I just sort of started discovering this in the past week and it's just really good it's just really comfortable and I've, I've recognized that uh, my van build is constantly changing so you know how I talked about it's a it's a partial build I have the sneaking suspicion it'll probably be always a partial build because there's always something that I'm going to be changing and I'm building it based on on me what I need what what I'm comfortable with you know based on my height for example the the bed system that I now have which which is this thing here now which I could use but also that thing at the back uh, really fits only me so if you're like you know six foot tall or something uh, it, this may not necessarily work out for you however you can use it as a guide or aka inspiration so you know that, that could work out for you uh, other things that I'm working on right now is just tidying up some of the wiring I know uh, that's something that freaks out a lot of people but you know worry not fret not as it were uh, I'm going to be fixing that up when it gets a little warmer. Today was a little was actually quite warm. We we were actually expecting a polar vortex here, and right now I have my diesel heater running in the background. I'm not sure if you could hear it, but it's keeping me toasty warm. And I went to a couple of different places today. I went for a very brief trail run, about a 10-15 minute trail run, in uh, one of the close by conservation parks. And then I went for something to get something to eat. I splurged a bit on some sandwiches, and then now I'm I'm just really just chilling out in the in the, in the driveway, aka parking lot, my home base. And for now, I'm making some notes on what I can actually uh, change here, and and an update come spring where I it'll be warmer and I'll be able to to work on the van a bit more. So. When that does happen, uh, what I will try to do is attempt to create build videos where you can actually see me doing some of the work, maybe updating it. For example, back here, this thing here, okay, that's cardboard. And, oh, maybe some of you don't know, but when I first started this build, like almost all of it was cardboard because I wanted to see how things were going to work out. So instead of spending or you know getting some plywood, I started with with cardboard it was easier to cut and much more malleable flexible uh, easier to work with and, and so on and so forth so I was able to sort of get an idea of you know how the space how I would be able to interact with the space and as I gained more confidence in 
at how it was going to work out, I started building things out. So right now I've got about, um, I'm looking at uh, updating my bed system. Uh, I'll have like two bed systems, you know, one where it's going to be at the back there, but another one where it's going to be on a, at the side here. Right now, this little area here is like, it's turned into a bit of a bench, which is like really comfortable and uh, I could sort of go back here and, and, and use that as a table as well. So it's working out really well. I'm very happy with my build and so far I'm, I'm pretty, like I'm, I've, I've been able to accomplish a lot of the goals, a lot of the things that I needed to do. And I mentioned it before in some previous videos, one of the things I want to be able to do is to finish an Ultra, in this case here, a Spartan Ultra. So 2021 has come, has come up, there's OCR events that's going to be happening, I hope. And when the lockdown is lifted, it's going to be in October. At Blue Mountain in Ontario, I plan on running my very last attempt at a Spartan Ultra and I hope to finish and really that's what I'm looking for. I'm hoping to finish and I'm using this van as a base camp in which I could then you know do my training and then come in here and crash out. But you know what? You already know that I'm also using it as a, a crash pad during lunch and a nap pad, a nap mobile uh, at work as well. So. I've got lots of plans guys and I'm getting I feel like I'm getting closer and closer to them and hopefully um, at one point I can take you guys on a an amazing road trip and then I could sort of show you some of the stuff that that I'm doing and, and maybe at some point you guys can also start doing this yourself I mean this is this is really great it's great for your actually it's great for my mental well-being uh, it's 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 a good it's a good feeling knowing that I could sort of just crash out somewhere without anybody getting to me. So you probably all know, already know all that stuff. Now, what's the other thing I actually want to talk to you guys about? Um, oh yeah, that's right. Okay, so so check this out. You know how I'm trying to grow my channel. So I, you know, in, in every video so far, I've done the boom, you know, start the music, you know, and then I say, you know, please like, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, or share the video. And so I'm trying to grow my channel and as of this month in February I've hit uh, about 500 uh, 500 subscribers which I'm really happy about and then you know my goal is to get a thousand subscribers uh, what happens after that I really don't know but I'm hoping what happens after that is I'll be able to help some more people like sort of like do this kind of thing because it's it's amazing I think it's a lot of fun and I mean, if you if you if you're doing a huge van build like you know a Sprinter or a Transit or a Promaster, there might be some things that I do in this tiny, tiny, tiny space that can apply to you. So, but I'm also learning as well. Like YouTube has so many so has so many great videos on how how you can do electrical, how you can do uh, the plumbing, and so on and so forth. So, uh, my channel is is not really like a van build video channel, but more of a, you know, look what I'm doing, here's what I've done. And uh, also just to sort of share how, how amazing this stuff really is and just giving you a snapshot of, you know, what I do on a daily basis. So, yeah, so that's about it. Um, I just wanted to just chime in and say thank you very much to everyone who subscribed. I really appreciate it and the comments Guys, I really appreciate the comments. It makes it so much worthwhile to, so much more worthwhile to, to um, see that you guys actually like this stuff and, and appreciate it. And beyond that, um, I appreciate a lot of you. <laughs> uh, probably uh, more than some of you know. And uh, you know, when when I get some good comments here and there, it's very encouraging. And uh, I just want to say thank you very much. Okay, I think I'm done. There's not much else I want to say at this point. If you have a question, if you see something in here, you have a question, you know, let me know. Hey, maybe we can, pay, we can play I Spy With My Little Eye. I Spy With My Little Eye, something that is red. <laughs> okay, so remember, like the video, and if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and share the video and hope to see you next time. Oh, by the way, I'm still working on that logo. 
I've sort of like shied away from it, but I'm still working on it. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks, guys.